Old Dominion is now 8-3 overall in the season after a 65-44 win over Norfolk State, snapping the eight-game winning streak for the Spartans and extending their own winning streak to six with Susan Montgomery. I am Matthew Hatfield. And for the first time all year at home, Susan, the Monarchs outscored the opposition in every quarter. They got off to a good start thanks in large part to Jordan McLaughlin setting the tone with seven first quarter points. Yeah, she really did. She was able to penetrate, get into the paint, uh, was also able to get a few uh, Spartans in foul trouble, had to go to the bench. Um, so I, I think, you know, where this was an ugly shooting game pretty much for both teams, um, we were still able to distribute the basketball and get some easy buckets inside the paint. Despite the Monarchs shooting well below 50% from the field and three-point distance in the first half, they were able to get the defense to turn into offense, in particular the likes of Amari Young and Kay Clark. Diving on the floor was Amari Young for a steal. And those two combined for 11 assists. They shared the basketball throughout the game. They played excellent as far as distributing the basketball. As you said, Amari Young several times dove on the floor, was able to hit Kay Clark a couple of times, and then Kay returning the favor. Um, but when you don't shoot the ball that well as a team, you got to have those types of hustle plays to give you an advantage. They were able to contain Deja Francis, the leading scorer for Norfolk State. 14 points per game coming in. Did not get her first field goal until the third quarter. And how about the contributions off the bench, in particular from Michaela Brown and, Brent, and Brenda Fontana in the paint? Yeah, they did a great job on Wheeler uh, inside. They, uh, Fontana took a couple of charges. Michaela Brown took a charge. Uh, then they were able to also rebound the basketball, but got Wheeler was extremely frustrated, fouled out of this basketball ball games, so have to give that bench a lot of credit. Norfolk State came in top 10 in the country in terms of scoring defense and field goal percentage defense, and though they didn't show their composure down the stretch, the Monarchs did. They played with poise, and this is a quality one they can build off before they head to Florida to take on Mississippi State, a quality SEC team in the Suncoast Challenge. Oh, you're exactly right. They were able to turn Norfolk State over 20 times to get 26 points off those turnovers, and they're going to have to be ready uh, against Mississippi State. They're going to have to take care of the ball like they did today uh, and see if they they can't pick up some easy steals from them to be able to turn into some easy offense. The Monarchs men and women's basketball teams both a perfect 6-0 here at Chartway Arena in Norfolk. And we'll see you next time. For Susan Montgomery, I'm Matthew Hatfield. We appreciate you watching Monarch Media.